Davis and Germer Experiment De Broglie's 1923 proposal that matter exhibits both wave and particle properties was regarded as pure speculation. If particles such as electrons had wave properties, under the correct conditions they should exhibit diffraction effects. Only three years later, in the year 1927, two American physicists C. J. Davison and L. H. Germer conducted an experiment to explain the wave nature of electrons through electron diffraction like diffraction of light waves. However, it is to be noted that the Davison Germer experiment was not intended to confirm the Broglie's hypothesis but rather they were studying the surface of a nickel. This was somewhat an accidental discovery. The Davison Germer experiment setup is as below. Electron gun, used for emission of electrons. Battery, used for acceleration of electrons inside the cylinder. Evacuated chamber, used for free movement of an electron without air resistance. A cylinder, used to accelerate the electrons. Nickel target, used to deflect electron beam towards a detector. It could be rotated in a circular motion. Galvanometer, used to measure the small values of current. Movable detector, used to detect the intensity and scattering of electron deflected by a nickel target and could be rotated.